right here. Throws oh. it. And Morenzi pulls off the upset in overtime. The boys of Blissfield are stirring up the hornet's nest as our coverage of the Michigan High School football playoffs start right now, only on LSN, your home for Lenaway Sports. Lenaway Sports and the Michigan High School Athletic Association proudly presents high school varsity football playoffs. For tonight, the LSN crew is in Hillsdale to cover the pre-district matchup between the Hillsdale Hornets and the Blissfield Royals. And as always, it's all part of the season-long race to our state championship. Good evening, friends. I'm Eric May here with Jacob Pask. So what do you think are the main keys to tonight's success against? Well, this is our second matchup with the Blissfield Royals and the Hillsdale Hornets. Uh, week six, uh, Blissfield and Hillsdale played here with a final score of Hillsdale 37, Blissfield 27. Uh, tonight, we've got a dry night. The first night, we weren't really a, a dry field. So tonight, we're going to be playing uh, on a dry field hopefully all night, and I hope that uh, will uh, fend well for both teams. What do you think, Jacob? Surely the win tonight will be a major factor in the passing game and also the punting game. Definitely will, definitely will. Uh, these two teams are both uh, have strong rushing attacks. Blissfield comes in with a more of a balanced attack, I would say. They, they pass a lot. They've passed for about 1,000 yards this year. Uh, Hillsdale now, they, they don't pass quite as much. They will when they need to. Uh, they are a potent rushing attack. Uh, so you'll probably see a little bit of both tonight from both teams. Hill, the, the Hillsdale Hornets are coming into the game being 8-1, and one, only having one loss so far this season, coming into the round one of the playoffs. And Blissville is hoping to defend their district title. They uh, won it last year and moved on to and lost in the regional first game. But they're here to defend their regional or district title, and hopefully they can have a good game tonight and pull it out. Okay. Uh, right now we're going to go into uh, the coaches' interviews. Uh, Jacob's going to talk with Hillsdale coach here when we come back from this break. Again, thanks for watching LSN Sports. The odds of becoming a successful NASCAR driver, 1 in 125 billion. The odds of a child being diagnosed with autism, 1 in 68. I'm Jamie McMurray. Learn more at autismspeaks.org slash signs. All right, we're back here at Hillsdale Field. We're talking with Coach Love here. Coach, back-to-back uh, -back playoff appearances. Uh, you guys are the defending district champs. Uh, what do you see as some of your keys to the game tonight? Uh, for us, you know, they, they run the T-style the offense, and for us, I know that's a huge key for us. Last time we were here, I don't think we defended it as well as we could have, so that was a big emphasis this week in practice, and uh, we got to try to get them off the field. they got a pretty dynamic offense. Uh, yes, they do. they got a really potent rushing attack. Uh, tonight we have a dry field, which I don't think we had the last time when, uh, when you played them, so I think that will help a little bit with your rushing attack. Do you believe that too? Yeah, we, you know, we watched the radar today, obviously. Um, we want to be able to do some different things, and um, when you throw the elements in there, sometimes you have to change your game plan quickly, um, but it appears it's going to stay dry for us. Yeah, hopefully it does, and hopefully uh, we got a little bit of win, but it's a perfect football night here at Hillsdale. Uh, you guys come in at five and four. Had a couple, couple blunders down the season, but I think uh, I think the team's ready. I, from what I see, the kids look like they're fired up. Uh, uh, anything else? Any other keys you see as being an advantage for you guys tonight? Uh, you know, I, we just got to come out here and play tough, and, and not worry about what did or didn't happen. Try to tell the kids that today. And, you know, everybody truly is back uh, back to zero and zero. So uh, with that, we just want to come out here and have a fantastic game. Very good. I appreciate it, Coach Love. Good luck tonight. Uh, we're going to go to break now. Once again, you're watching LSN Sports, uh, your home for Lenaway Sports. If you don't fix them, sparks from dragging tow chains could cause a wildfire, and that could be scary. Only you can prevent wildfire. Welcome back from break. I'm here with the head coach of Hillsdale, the Hillsdale Hornets, Mark Lemoran. Mark, how do you feel as if the weather is going to affect your passing game and your special teams tonight? You know, both teams play in the rain, so I think both of us will be okay. We practice in it, they practice in it, so we don't expect it to affect anything. 
What do you think are some of the major like keys to winning tonight? You know, I think time of possession is a big thing for both teams. They both we both want to run the football and and keep the other offenses off the field. How do you feel uh, coming into this first round playoff game, only having one loss of the season? You know, we feel pretty good at where we're at, but in the playoffs, everybody's 0-0 right now, so we got to work it out for us. Thank, you, thank you for giving me your time and pleasure. It's my pleasure. Thank you. I'm Jacob Pass. Stay right there. We will be right back with LSN, your home for Lenaway Sports. May I please have an application? Thank you. Skip the drama. Get your diploma. Find free adult education classes at finishyourdiploma.org. Technical difficulties, we lost the first part of the game. We rejoined the game early in the fourth quarter. Blissfield up 21 to 10. All right, we're back. Hey, sorry about the technical difficulties here. Hillsdale went down and scored to make it a 21-10 game with 725 left in the game with Blissfield ball. Second and six on the 48-yard line, and the clock's a ticking. Blissfield looks to eat up the clock here. That's a, as much of an opponent as Blissfield is to the Hornets right now. We got uh, Ganon under center with Leonard split to the left with Gates and Horky in motion. It's like a handoff to Horky. First down. That's huge. That is huge. Uh, Hillsdale's going to have to start thinking about using some timeouts here pretty soon. That will stop the clock briefly on first down here, but we'd have Blissfield first down. First down on the, looks like, 42-yard line for the Royals as they look to keep it on the ground to eat the clock up here with 6.43 left in the game. Royals holding on to 11-point lead. The rain has stopped. Ganon under center. Looks like a hand out to Farrell to the right. Looks like about a gain of five here. Nice block by number 75, Dean Swanson there. Blissfield's in no hurry here to get rid of, uh, to get the snap off here. They're gonna take their time. The clock is in their, in their court. Van Stinkenstein out to the left. We got Ganon under center. Gates and Farrell in the backfield. He's taking his time, letting the time click off. Ganon hands off to Gates up the middle, and he bulldozes his way close to a first down. Jacob, he's a load. He's, he's uh, having quite the game on offense and defense. Brian Gates. The clock is becoming a huge factor now for the Hornets. Uh, Hillsdale's going to have to get a turnover here to get back in this game and score quick. But the Royals are not looking to, uh, in any kind of way, proceed very quickly here. The clock is in their favor. Ganon is waiting to the last minute to snap the ball. The sophomore quarterback, quarterback sneak. And it looks like he's got a first down. It's gonna be close though. It's gonna be close. We might get a measurement here. We'll see what the referees do. The clock is continuing to tick off. Oh, it looks like he might be short. He doesn't get a favorable spot. Looks like fourth and one. Oops, it looks like they might, uh, they stopped the clock here, let's see. That's short. They're gonna bring the chains out. They're gonna bring the chains out with 421 left. Jacob, this might be the ball game right here. They get a first down. They could uh, control the rest of the clock for the rest of the way. Oh, 
and measurement. They're about six inches short. It's going to bring up a fourth and about six inches for the Royals. And they will be going for this, I believe. I think you'll be seeing your big fullback here or a quarterback sneak, Jacob. The clock started again. Gunnan talking to his backs. Gunnan under center. Oh, it's a quick pitch for all. I didn't think that would happen. Oh, he gets past him. Harrell with a big gain there. That's a that's a nice call by Coach Love. And the Hornets were looking for a quarterback sneaker. Gates up the middle and they quick pitch out to the left with Roman Farrell. First. Well, Jacob, we're gonna have to pick a player of the game here. Um, my thoughts uh, as we look out there, that number 42 for the Royals. Brian Gates, he's had a heck of a game on offense and defense. He's just made some huge plays on offense. He's got him some big first downs on, or uh, big first downs on offense and some big stops on defense. So we'll see what the Royals do here. There he is, the game the guy we're talking about, up the middle for about five yards. Stay tuned for after the game. We'll be talking to the winning coach and the player of the game. So. Stay tuned. We got a timeout. Timeout on the field. This is your This is Allison, your home for Lenaway Sports. Huntington. Every proper bear knows that the right fit means everything. Especially when it comes to car seats. Oh, really? I just did what any bear would do. So know for sure that your child is in the right car seat for their age and size. I like it. To learn more, visit safercar.gov slash the right seat. Oh, hello there. Oh, <clears throat> where's that bear? <clears throat> All right, the Royals back with the ball here. Second and six, 3.34 left, 21 to 10 Royals. Get on under center. It's a quick pitch to Farrell to the right-hand side. He's got the corner. Oh, we got a flag on the play. That's probably gonna be a holding on the Royals. We'll see, let's, looks like holding on the Royals, so that'll back them up a little bit, but Royals aren't too concerned about that right now. The time is their biggest uh, opponent right now, and they're eating up some clock right now, Jacob. The Hornets need a turnover and need it quick to even have a chance to get back into this game. Like I said, stay tuned for our post-game show. We'll be talking with the winning coach and the player of the game. So got a timeout on the field here, Jacob. But but this is LSN, your home for Lenaway Sports.
Thanks, Jacob. Uh, Blissville's ball here. They're trying to eat up the clock, third and six. Um, I guess we can call this an upset, right, Jacob? And we've got the But we knew this was going to probably be a close game. The Royals played them tough the last time they played. Their defense really, really stood up tonight. Slowed down the uh, Hillsdale running game, that's for sure. All right, here we go. We got Ganon under center. We got Gates in the backfield with Pharrell. Zach Horky at the wing. Ganon takes a snap up to Brian Gates. No, it's a fake. Balls to Zach Horky and he gets out of bounds. He didn't want to do that. He wanted to keep in the wanted to keep the ball in to keep that clock going. So looks like we're gonna be fourth and pretty short here. Royals will obviously go for it here. They want to just run that clock out. First down will just about seal the game here, Jacob. Our first down will about seal the game. Ganon's bringing the play in. It looks like we got fourth and one. We'll see what happens here. Last time we had a fourth and one, we had a quick pitch to Pharrell. Let's see what happens this time. I expect to see probably a Gates up the middle, but we'll see. And it is Gates up the middle, and it looks like a first down. He didn't need much. Looks like he needed about a yard. He maybe got a yard and a half. Referees have not indicated first down yet. Hillsdale kind of got a favorable spot there. We'll see. Oh. Hillsdale ball. He did not get it. Interesting spot there, Jacob, but uh, first and 10 Hillsdale with 312 left. They're going to have to air it out here. We'll see what uh, see what Mr. Eves has. He's a left-handed tosser. We'll see what he does here. Oh, we got men on the field. Go, snap it! Okay, Eves is underneath center. Full house backfield yet. No one split out. Hillsdale's not a passing team, that's for sure. It's a handoff. Wow, that's a questionable call there. Questionable call there. Number 22, Zach Cormack with the run. He got out of bounds, which stopped the clock. But no gain. Now that they need lots of points fast, so that's uh they got to pull out something out of their bag of tricks or maybe put in some kind of flea flicker or hook and ladder because uh, they need 11 points in 3.06. Wow. I tell you, Jacob, this Blissfield defense has been Great something else tonight. Right that tackle is by about nine of the 11 Blissfield defensive the guys. There. we got a third and probably about 11 now. Got a guy on the field here. Oh, oh, we got a, we got a whistle. Timeout, Blissfield. Blissfield had an extra man on the field right there. He wasn't getting off and heads up by Coach Love there to call a timeout. Saved him a penalty right there. Heads up play by Coach Love. Thanks, Mike and Rusty. I'm a frequent visitor. Thanks again. So, a quick time out there by the Royals. Saved them a penalty. We got a third nine with 2.38 left. We'll see what Hillsdale has in store here. They're going to have to air it out here, I would think. I can't say enough about the Blissfield defense tonight, though. They've been something else. 
know we haven't mentioned every guy in that line, but uh, they've been facing some great plays tonight. Yes. Handoff off the right side. It, is, it looks like Hillsdale's kind of just giving up here. Zach Comack with a hard run, though. Yep, fourth and nine here. This is the ball game right here. Bustle will take over and run out the clock if they do not get a first down. It's a handoff to Comac. Oh, he gets out of bounds. Looks like he might have got a first down. First down Hillsdale with 2.04 left. Jacob, these first downs are nice, but they need a touchdown. Stay tuned for the player of the game and a talk with the winning coach here on LSN Network. There's a quick pitch to number one. He cuts back across the middle. Brock Woodward, close to a first down as the clock ticks. Big stuff there, wow. Evan Moore with another stop. He's had a great game too. Along with Brian Gates, this whole defensive line. Jared Banger, great game. There's a handoff, number 22, Comar. Oh, he's a stuff, stuff. Wow. Evan Moore with another stop. We're going to be under a minute here in a second. 21 to 10, Blissfield. It looks like Blissfield is going to move on, Jacob, and play the winner of Quincy and Columbia Central next Friday. We'll cover that game next Friday. Stay tuned for details. Hand off up the middle to Aiden Peterson. Excuse me, that was number 22 with the carry. Zach Cormack. Hills out to the line quick. 46 seconds left. Hand off to number one. Oh, he's got a lane. He's got a lane. Zach Corky slows him down. Zach Corky probably saved a touchdown there. Brock Woodward with a nice run. Another first down. Yep. Another handoff to Woodward. He's got the corner. Oh, stuffed. That could be the ball game, folks. Lucas Koopshaw with a stop there. He's had a great game, too. Oh, oh, he's under pressure. It's going to be intercepted. He goes down on his knees. Noah Leonard with the interception. That's going to be the ball game, folks. Three seconds officially left. Stay tuned for the postgame show. We're going to talk to Ryan Love and our player of the game, Brian Gates. Blissville will take a knee here. We got three seconds left here. Blissfield will take a knee. Your final score is going to be 21 to 10. Blissfield Royals come in and upset the Hillsdale Hornets. What a defensive effort tonight, Jacob. Blissfield Royals seem to pick up their game. It comes playoff time. Blissfield Royals will go to six and four. Hillsdale Hornets end their season at a very nice eight and two. Stay tuned, as I said, for our post-game show. We'll be talking with the coaches, or I'm sorry, the winning coach, Ryan Love, and pl our player of the game, Brian Gates. Once again, final score, Blissfield Rose, 21, Hillsdale Hornets, 10. We'd like to thank everyone here at Hillsdale for the hospitality. This is Allison, your home for Lenaway Sports.
If you don't fix them, sparks from dragging tow chains could cause a wildfire, and that could be scary. Only you can prevent wildfires. If you want to be a parent, it doesn't matter how you play, or even what you wear. You just need to be there. Thousands of teens in foster care don't need perfection. They just need you. All right, hey, welcome back. I'm Eric May here with the player of the game, Brian Gates. Brian, nice game out there tonight. Defense really stood out there. In offense, you had a nice day. You had uh, some nice runs up the middle. But defensively, uh, the Blissfield defense really stepped up tonight. What, what do you think some of the keys were tonight? Um, as always, it's just the defensive line and just how everything works in with their performance, and I just can't give enough credit to our line performance tonight. Yeah, the line was unreal tonight. Uh, you know, Hillsdale come in averaging 37 points, and you guys shut it down to 10 points here. That's that's a heck of an effort, a heck of an adjustment. Um, you guys got beat by them last time, but you guys seem to pick it up here come postseason. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, it was it's do or die time, so we we just had to we just had to compete, uh, and that's what we did. That they did, so very good. Stick around here for a minute. We're going to go over to Jacob here with Coach Love. Jacob. Hello, I'm here with Coach Love. Amazing win out there tonight. Yeah, thank you. What do you think were most of your ama keys to winning tonight? Well, I mean, look, you just uh, heard from a kid um, that honestly just bought in this week, uh, came ready to play, senior captain. Um, when you have kids like that leading your football team, it uh, just trickles down, and that's exactly why we got uh, what we got tonight because we have kids that decide to buy in and, and uh, understand that they're 0-0 and, and uh, just ready to play the next game. So just a hats off to our kids tonight. Coming out of round one with a win, what do you think that you can improve on in next round? Yeah, I don't, you know, right now I'm, I'm super interested in just uh, enjoying what we got out here. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit back and think right now. We'll take a look at the film. There's always something to prove on. Um, we just got, we got to be ready next week for a different style of offense. The kids know that. Um, they got to come ready to work every day. And that, that's basically what it is. It's been, it's been, a, you know, 10 weeks of football. Um, it's just about coming every day, ready to work, being serious about what you're doing and preparing for the next opponent. Very well said. I'm here with Coach Love. Thank you for your time. All right, thank you so much. Great win. All right, thank you. For the entire Lenaway crew, I'm Eric May saying thank you for watching this evening. The Blissfield Royals are victorious tonight, beating the Hillsdale Hornets by the final score of 21 to 10. Our next stop as an LSN crew will be to follow Blissfield through their playoff run. Want to see if we're coming to your town? Get connected to the LISD TV on Facebook and Twitter for LSN's broadcast schedule. Also, check us out on YouTube and subscribe to LISD's TV's channel to watch our other full game broadcasts. This has been a presentation of LSN, your home for Lenaway Sports.